Descartes' extended argument for the new foundations of knowledge starts with his observations of his own existence and then moves to his argument for the existence of God based on his idea of a perfect being. Then it moves to his argument from God's existence and perfection and from his strong tendency to believe in common sense things like the existence of the world outside the mind, the reliability of reason as a source of knowledge, the senses as a way of accessing the world inside the mind and gaining knowledge about it, to the conclusion that these instincts are correct, that they should be followed, that the instincts to believe are instincts to believe in things that are true, and that accordingly we can get knowledge of the world outside the mind from the senses that the world inside the mind does exist, that reason is reliable, and so on. Now, this might be all well and good if it weren't for one very big problem. The problem is that when Descartes establishes his own existence, he's recently been doubting the reliability of reason. He'd systematically, ruthlessly doubted everything he could as part of the method of doubt in order to arrive at the absolute certainty of a new foundation for knowledge. And that absolutely certain foundation was his own existence. All well and good, but he doubted reason. And in order to establish the existence of God, he uses an argument. And arguments only work if reason works. But he doesn't show us that reason works until another stage when he's argued that reason can be relied upon because of God's existence. So he's arguing that reason works because God exists, but his argument that God exists depends on reason. And so here's Descartes' big flaw, and it just doesn't work. He's essentially arguing in a circle. I believe this is what some people refer to as the Cartesian circle. Descartes arguing that God exists because I have a good argument for it, he says. And that argument only works if reason works. But reason, as far as he knows at the time, doesn't work. And he doesn't know it works until he shows God exists. So Descartes' whole method here just isn't going to succeed. Well, is there any solution available? Well, there are... Um, there are solutions available, uh, or at least there's one solution. It might not be entirely to the liking of Descartes, uh, but you can allow for two foundational steps, two foundational layers in the house of knowledge, or two, two slabs in the foundation of knowledge. One, I exist, and two, reason can be trusted. If you'll allow reason at the foundation of knowledge, then you can successfully argue God exists based on reason and based on your idea of God if the argument's any good. And then you can argue that God exists um, and argue for all those common sense instincts and so on and maybe reinforce the reliability of reason but uh, not demonstrate it because that's circular reasoning. Uh, so this, this might work, but of course... Uh, if that does work, any problems with his argument for the existence of God become more significant, they have to work. Now, it seems the, the first argument he uses doesn't work, but um, keep in mind he does have other arguments for the existence of God based on his idea of God. There is a somewhat more, more traditional style ontological argument to consider that he offers as a supplementary argument in the meditations. So. Uh, Descartes does get involved in this huge error, this bit of circular reasoning, and so he fails to establish knowledge on a new foundation. But a modified Cartesian philosophy is not necessarily excluded. It just has to be one that accepts reason as well as the existence of the self as a fundamental slab in the foundation of knowledge. Now,